It's not even the middle of October and we hardly have any soybeans out because of what the weather's been doing to us this year. This is the second time we've seen snow already. Now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I know north of here, they got a ton of snow. They actually got six to eight inches. West of here out in South Dakota, they got even more than that and it's laying on their soybeans. They got a lot of ice that's actually taking trees down. I don't know what kind of soybeans they're gonna have left out there. That's just another reason proving to us that we need to make sure we get the crops off as soon as we can, whenever we can. This, this, and especially this is the reason we try to get out here and get things harvested as soon as we possibly can. I understand these conditions are not that bad. We really don't have, we definitely don't have any kind of measurable amount of snow. It's been wet, it's been cold. Today is a high of 34 degrees. Right now it's 28 and 35 mile an hour winds. So it's cold out. We've been working in the shop a little bit. You guys saw the changes we made to the Challenger. Uh, today we're gonna transfer a whole bunch of corn around in the bins, clean up another floor or two, finish running through uh, everything we've got through the wet tank and get that completely empty. And then uh, honestly, we're just waiting on the weather to dry up and, and allow us to get back out into those fields. Our plan right now is to start on corn again, get going on that for a day or two. Hopefully the mud will dry up a little bit and as soon as it does, we're gonna switch right over to soybeans and get going as hard as we possibly can on soybeans to knock those out before the weather stops us from doing that again. Uh, more time just waiting for this wet tank to get empty. Once we get down to the floor here with these outside sumps, we'll start up the sweep, run that around and get all of this high moisture corn out of here through the dryer and into the bin. It's four o'clock in the afternoon on the 11th of October and there is still snow on this truck and icicles hanging off of everything. It's cold. This, this, this. For Pete's sake guys, we don't all farm in the Garden of Eden. By the way, if you're a farmer, send me your best photo or your best story with a hashtag for Pete's sake and uh, if we get some good ones there we're gonna share them go ahead and just uh, send them to me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever we've gotten a lot of them chances are I won't get back to you but I will see it so go ahead and share it and uh, maybe we'll share it with everybody else Well, that should be the last big bin floor that we've got to clean up this fall. So that's pleasing to me. That's it guys, that's all I got for today. Right now it's just too muddy. We're waiting for everything to dry up. We've done most of our odd job stuff. We really just don't have a lot going on now until the soil gets dry or at least the plants get dry and we can take off here and start getting back at it. Hopefully we'll get some beans out soon. It's not supposed to rain for several days now so uh, maybe tomorrow night or uh, the day after we can really get hammering on stuff and uh, go on corn a little bit before we switch over to beans then we'll be going hard. Pretty soon I'm also going to give you guys a full rundown on my thoughts on this Challenger tractor. I know I've told you guys some stuff so far, you've seen us using it. You've seen what we've done with it, you've seen what it's capable of, but I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown on what I like and what I don't like of this thing coming up here pretty soon. So stick around, keep watching, thank you thus far. See you later. Mm -hmm.